Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Staff and students of the Lennon High School in Clarendon have been left shocked and grief-stricken following the sudden death of fifth former Tristan Graham. Graham collapsed and died in Maypen, Clarendon yesterday afternoon. In Westmoreland, the hunt is on for a 15-year-old boy who shot and killed his six-year-old cousin at their home on Darling Street yesterday. In an unusual request, government members of Parliament's Public Accounts Committee this morning demanded to know the name of a Gleaner journalist who spoke with the Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis on a matter being deliberated in the Parliament. It comes as concerns mount over how government representatives on the committee have been treating Monroe Ellis. Several taxi operators today staged a demonstration at the intersection of Trafalgar, Hope and Waterloo Roads in St. Andrew, calling for the authorities to cut the speed limit in built-up areas as a means to reduce fatal crashes. They want the limit to go down from the current 50 km per hour to 30 km per hour. The Health Ministry is reporting that Jamaica has recorded 15 more COVID-19 fatalities, pushing the tally to 878. The ministry notes that the deaths occurred between January 19 and May 16. In sports, West Indies selectors have named an 18-man provisional 2020 international squad for the upcoming series against South Africa, Australia and Pakistan. The squad, which will be led by Karen Pollard, sees a recall for explosive all-rounder Andre Russell, who has not featured for the West Indies in the past 14 months. In your currency trading today, it was costing $150.61 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $213.03, and the Canadian dollar for $124.99. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers and thunderstorms across hilly areas and western parishes. It will be partly cloudy elsewhere. And that's it for the Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.